so I am late. I've actually been out shopping all day. See, I love the mall. I can find whatever I need from the mall. This is sunshades. Yeah, I got it from the mall. Purple, my favorite color. I love it. And let me see what else I got. Oh, I got this ring. Look at that. Very pretty. And this also from the mall. Love it. Oh, yeah. And my boyfriend got me a Mercedes Benz today. Ooh, I was driving. I could feel the wind in my hair. My weave almost fell out. Nah, no way. We. Do you think I do? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But that's for me to know and for you, hopefully, never to find out. But um, on a serious note, I was at the mall shopping, right? And I saw this young lady crying her eyes out. So as concerned as I was, I went up to her and I asked her what the problem was. And she said her boyfriend was cheating on her. She just saw him at the mall with another girl. Wow. <sighs> Take a moment in that one. This young lady was crying her eyes out as if it was the end of the world. But then it hurt. When someone betrays your trust, it hurts. So I asked her, I said, well, how do you find out, how do you know your boyfriend is cheating? Well, she said, we've been together for three years. I didn't see it coming. It just sort of happened. And my girlfriend called and said, oh, I saw them at the mall. So I thought I'd come by and there they were kissing and carrying on. And Three years? And you didn't see this coming? Oh, come on, ladies. We know this too well. Some of you can agree with me. Sometimes the signs are there. The late phone calls, always on the laptop when you come in and you sometimes have to rush it off. Or probably on the phone and you come in and he switches the conversation, starts speaking in, speaking in codes. But we choose to ignore the signs. Married men cheat, boyfriends cheat. Well, you know what? Let me rephrase that. Not all married men cheat. But relationships are not perfect. But there are signs. If your guy is cheating on you, or if your lady is cheating on you, the things that they used to do before, trust and believe they will change. And sometimes they change without them knowing. But that's for us, the significant other, to understand and to know how those changes are occurring. Once you start noticing that, once you notice all those changes, don't let it go. Keep an eye out because he might just be doing something he ought not to be doing. He might be actually out there seeing another woman or she might be actually out there seeing another guy. And if you are in a committed relationship, you should be faithful to the person you're committed to. How else do you get to know that person to see if this is the person you have to spend the rest of your life with? Some people say, they're testing the waters. Some people say, I still have options. That's just another way of saying, I don't want to be with you. Maybe that's a little too harsh. But just listen to what I'm saying. There are signs. What they used to do, they don't do anymore. The way they used to kiss, they don't kiss anymore. Like they used to. I remember one time, I was dating this guy. He used to kiss me on the lips. Now every time I see him, he kissed me on the cheeks. That's a problem. Every so often he kissed me on the lips. But what happened, baby? Every day he used to kiss me on the lips. Or he used to rub my back before I go to sleep every night. Well, every night is kind of, you could actually say that's kind of a lot. But he just stopped doing it completely. And we fought every second, every minute of the day. My friend, he's seeing somebody. I know he's seeing somebody. And when I catch that person, mmm. Oh no, I'm not going to attack the girl, of course not. I'm going to attack the guy. The guy. Yeah. You go for the guy. You don't go for the other girl because more than likely the other girl does not know. But on a serious note, let's try to keep it real with ourselves. Let's try to keep it real in a relationship. If you're with somebody, be honest to yourself first and foremost and then be honest to that person. Because if you're not honest with yourself, you're playing games. And that's not too far from cheating. Once you start playing games, you start cheating. And if you feel the need to cheat, just let each other know. You know, maybe we might need to take a break. Um, go your way, I go my way. We can be friends. Or friends with benefits. I always like that. 
<laughs> oh, bad girl. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave it at that. This is Priding on the Priding Show. But like I was saying, watch yourself. Watch the person you're with. Watch your significant other. Watch the person that claims to love you. Actions speak louder than words. That's my book calling. I'm gonna catch up with you guys later.